When I started freelancing a couple of years ago, I was like most beginner freelancers, just a random faceless hustler chasing clients for low paying jobs. But everything changed when I decided to set up a simple one page portfolio website. Now, instead of me struggling to get clients, I have a long waiting list of potential clients who want to work with me and my business conveniently make thousands of dollars every month. This transformation was an eye opener for me because I realized that there are a lot of people out there who actually need your service, but they are not coming to you because they can't see the value in your work and how you are going to help them solve their problems. And one of the best ways to communicate your value and show potential clients what you have to offer is through your portfolio website. Most times before people hire you, they want to understand how you work and the kind of results you can help them achieve. They also want to know if you've already done something similar in the past with proofs and testimonials. And then they need a way to contact you if they eventually decide to work with you. And your portfolio website is the platform where you can present all this stuff potential clients need to see to get them to pay for your service. Another thing is having a portfolio website shows that you are a professional and clients tend to respect your brand more. If you are still struggling to land jobs as a freelancer, whether you are a designer, a writer, a developer, photographer, or any other type of freelancer, a solid portfolio website could be the missing piece you need to turn things around. That's why in this video, I want to show you step by step how to easily create a professional portfolio website that will help you attract more clients so that you can start making more money from your freelancing business. We are going to use WordPress to build this website. WordPress makes it super easy to set up your website even if you don't have any prior experience with web development. But the most important thing is to find a reliable and affordable WordPress hosting for your site because most of the hosting options you find out there are either not good enough or just too expensive. Over the years, I have tried almost all the popular hosting platforms in the market and from my experience, one platform that has the perfect balance of price and performance is AltaHost. And that's your sim platform I recommend you use for your portfolio website if you want the kind of hosting that will not stress you in any way. So go to altahost.com or just click the first link in the description of this video and that will bring you over here. You see a comparison between Alta Host pricing and other hosting platforms like DreamHost, HostGator, Bluehost and SiteGround. You notice that Alta Host has the best pricing among these options. Now, once you get over here, what you want to do is go to hosting, select WordPress hosting. Since we are setting up our site on WordPress and over here, if you just scroll down a little bit, you see the different pricing plans that they have and the features that come with each plan. Since you are just creating a portfolio website where it's not as if you are expecting too much traffic, I recommend you go with the WordPress starter plan. With this, you can create up to 100 websites and still get some of the best features at a very good price. Another thing is, the longer the plan, the more discount you are going to get. For instance, with the yearly plan, you get 30% discount, two years plan, you get 40% discount, and then on the three years plan, you get up to 50% discount. You can also start with one of the monthly plans. Let's say you just want to test things out and see how it will go. But another advantage of getting a yearly plan is that you get a free domain for one year. So instead of buying your domain separately, if you get one of the yearly plans, you are going to get a free domain that is valid for one year from AltaHost. But aside that, just pick the plan that works best for you. The next step is to pick the domain name for your website. I'm going to try something like Ima the Creative. Then for the extension, I will always recommend you use a .com extension. That's the most popular option. So your domain name will be like emmanueladam.com. Uh, in this case, it is going to be imadicreative.com. Once you enter the name that you like, click check to see if the domain name is available. Let's say in a case where the name you are trying to use is not available, you just need to try a different name. And once you find the name that you like, you just want to go ahead, 
add it to your cart and then proceed to get both your WordPress hosting and the domain name for your website. At this point, before you proceed to checkout, you will need to create a new auto host account. So you can just enter all of these details or sign up with your Facebook account or your GitHub account or your Google account. I'm going to sign up with my Google account. After signing up, click view cart. Now enter your payment information and then proceed to checkout. At this point, go to your client area. You are going to see the WordPress hosting you just bought right here. Click manage. Here you will see WordPress management, select it, then click new installation to set up a new WordPress website. First, you will be required to fill in the details of your website. Here where it says product, just select the new WordPress hosting you got from Altahost. Then just leave the protocol on HTTPS, then enter your domain name, plugin packages, select general plugins, you can set your WordPress admin dashboard or generate a strong password automatically. Then for the site name, I'm going to use my name as the name of the website or you can use any name you want. But since it is just a portfolio website, I think using your name is fine. Then you can enter your admin email address, admin username, the language. And with all of this in place, just go ahead and click create. I notice that you might get this notification that says, please install WHM, but that's not a problem. Just close this window. If I come over here, refresh, you will see that now we have a new WordPress installation. But if I try to visit this website, we are going to get this connection error because the SSL certificate is not yet active on this website. The good thing is, Altahost actually gives you a free SSL certificate. So come over here, click on this log icon for SSL. Make sure to enable SSL, then click confirm. This might take some time before it starts working. So if we try to access the website again, we still have this connection error, but we can still proceed to do what we need to do while the SSL certificate is getting ready on the background. And if you encounter any issues with your website, you can always contact the customer support on Altahost and they'll quickly help you out. I've actually had a few cases where I reached out to them and in a few minutes, my issue was resolved. So if you have any issues with your website, feel free to contact their customer support. But at this point, we need to log into our WordPress admin dashboard where we are going to start customizing the site. So to log into your admin panel, you can just customize the website URL by adding wp-admin and that will bring you over here where you can log in with your username and password or you can go to your client area on Altahost, select your WordPress hosting. Here you will see this option to log into your WordPress website, click on it and that will bring you straight to your WordPress admin dashboard. Right now, this is what our website looks like. This is what we have, and you can see it is looking very basic and boring. To transform this into a nice looking portfolio website, the first thing you want to do is come over to appearance, click add new theme. The theme I recommend you use is Astra, and you see it right here. It is free and it is fully customizable, which means you can use it to build any type of website. So just go ahead and install Astra, then activate it. The fastest way to make your website is to use a template. And for that, we are going to work with a plugin called Starter Template. Once you install Astra, you are going to see this option. Click Let's Get Started with Starter Template. That will help you install and activate this plugin. Here you can select whether you want to use the AI website builder or the classic starter template. I still prefer the classic starter template, so I'll select build with templates. For the page builder, I like working with Elementor, so select Elementor and that will open this template library with website templates in different categories. Right now, we are trying to create a portfolio website so come over to personal site, select portfolio and CV. Usually what you want to do is to look for a template that is close to the final product you have in mind. Let's say if you are a video editor, you look for a template about video editing. 
if you are a web designer you look for a template for web design if you are a photographer or a voiceover artist whichever one there are a lot of templates here that you can choose from if you find a template that is close to what you do it will make the whole process easier for you because that way you just need to make a few changes and you have your final product so for instance i'm going to pick this particular template web designer portfolio assuming you are a web designer this template will be perfect for you or if you're a web developer or you are a ui ux designer or maybe if you're a copywriter this template will work perfectly for you another thing you need to consider is that the templates with this premium label are actually paid templates but basically just look for a template that you like in my own case i'll go ahead and select this here you can preview your template and if you need to change the branding let's say you want to change the font or the colors you can easily do that from here but i'll just go with the default setup then click continue for the next step you can select the basic features you want on your website right now page builder and contact form are selected which is something that is very important for a website like this but for the other features these are stuff that you can add to your website anytime you need them so i'll click continue here enter your name your email address set your experience level with wordpress and select i am building this website for myself check this option to proceed then click submit and build my website without wasting any time this template will be imported to your website now to see what your new website looks like click on view your website and you can see without doing too much i have a nice looking portfolio website at this point what i just need to do is to change the name the images and the text where necessary and you can easily do that by clicking edit with elementor elementor is the easiest way to customize your website let's say i want to change this name just select it then come over and replace it with my name i can also replace this image just select it come over select choose image and then upload my own picture i think this will do so click select if you need to resize your image just come over to style and from here you can adjust the width and the height till you get the perfect size for your image to save your changes click publish and you can basically follow this same process to customize all the other sections on your website then i'll come over here also replace this particular image select this then come over to style and add a little bit of border radius to add these rounded edges and i can also customize the about me to reflect my own story then you have these options where you can add links to your instagram linkedin and all of that and the way it works is you can select the icon then come over here add the link to your platform or let's say if i want to change this to youtube go to icon library search for youtube and then i can add a link to my youtube channel so everything here is fully customizable you have this section where you can add client testimonials here you can add your years of experience the projects you worked on and the satisfaction rate and once you are done making all these changes just go ahead hit publish another thing you might want to work on are the call to action buttons for instance with this schedule a consultation button maybe i'll add a link to where they can book a call with me on a platform like calendly or maybe google meet whichever one works best for you then this button for browse all my work you're going to link to a page where they can see more of your project and then here we also have schedule a consultation and on the top menu we have a contact me button let me show you how that is going to work we can view page at the moment this contact me button does not do anything but if i click contact that will take me to the contact page with this simple contact form clients can enter their name email address their budget for the project and a description so i'm going to set it up in a way that this contact me button will bring people over to this page so copy the url click customize here you can select the button and then change the url 
Now, if somebody clicks on this contact me button, it should bring them to the contact page. Also, there is no need to have this contact me button and then the contact page on the menu. So I'm going to delete that. Come over to primary menu, configure menu, and then click edit menu. Just remove the contact page. Click publish to save your changes. Also, I'm going to change this name, select it. And this is actually a logo. You can create a similar logo for your website, but I'll just remove it. Then display my site title instead. I think that'll be better. To make it more visible, come over to design. And for site title color, I'm going to set it to white. I think that's better. And then the hover color, use this shade of green. Now I can save my changes and let's go back to the website. If I go to the home page, now if a potential client comes over here, they can either book a consultation call with me or click contact me to send me a message. Here they can enter their name, email address, enter their budget and a description of their project and then they can click submit to send the message. To see the messages you've received through this form, just go to your WordPress dashboard. This particular template is using WP Forms for the contact form and you cannot view your messages on the free version of this plugin but there is a plugin that you can use to fix that just go to plugins click add new plugin and then search for wp forms add-on look for this particular plugin database add-on for wp forms install it then activate it immediately with this plugin you'll be able to view the messages from your website let's say if i come over here refresh just send another message, click submit, now go to WordPress, refresh, you will see that you have one new message and if you open the form, you are going to see the details of the message, the name of the sender, the email address, the budget and the description. There is also a plugin that you can use to send these messages straight to a Google Sheet if you want to organize things further. Just come over to plugins and then search for WP Forms Google Sheet Connector. With this plugin, you can automatically send the messages from your website to a Google Sheet where it will be easier for you to manage your project. So you can go ahead and set this up if you prefer that kind of workflow. But right now, we have a nice looking portfolio website with everything working perfectly. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I'll be there asking your questions. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. That will help the channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.